In this example, we want to find the point on the curve given here where the tangent line is horizontal. Okay, so uh, recall that um, a horizontal tangent line has a slope of zero. Okay, uh, because there is no uh, there's a run, but there's no rise. Okay, so to locate the uh, to find these horizontal tangent lines, see, find out where they occur, what we do is we take the derivative and set it equal to zero. Okay. So let's say, for example, um, uh, let's look at with the parabola, okay? Okay, so we have a horizontal tangent line uh, that would occur here, okay? Okay, so what you do is you take the derivative, set it equal, take the derivative of this curve Right, of this function and then set it equal to zero and that way you can locate uh, it will give you we can locate this where this occurs okay so we can apply this idea to uh, to the curve in our in this example okay so let's go ahead and take the derivative of, of our function okay so we have uh, y prime or dy dx okay is going to be equal to, uh, we can take the derivative term by term, okay, so we're going to get uh, the derivative of 2x cubed that's again using the power rule could bring down the 3 subtract 1 from, subtract uh, 1 from 3 so we're gonna get uh, 2 here I'll just I'll go ahead and write it out like this for now uh, and then here we can again use the power rule so we have 3 times 2 times x to the power 2 minus 1 uh, this one uh, the derivative of minus 12x so that's going to give us so minus 12 is a constant okay so then we can take out the negative 12 and that's going to give us uh, minus 12 times the derivative of x and then we have a derivative of a constant which is 0 okay so simplifying this we're going to get 6x to the power 2 plus 6x to the power 1 minus okay we have the derivative of x which is just one okay so then we want to set this equal to zero okay all right so one thing to notice uh so we have a um q or the curve that we're given is, is cubic so when you take the derivative of it then we expect it to be uh quadratic which is what we got here okay so the rest here is just algebra. Okay, we're going to solve for this. Okay, so we can uh, go ahead and uh, factor out a six. And our right, constants don't affect the roots. Okay, so this is the same as solving for x squared plus x minus two equals to zero. So then we can go ahead and factor this. This is going to give us x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals to 0. Okay. So therefore we have x equals to minus 2 and x equals to 1. So that is, so those are the uh, two values where the horizontal line, uh, where we have the horizontal lines. Okay. So what we can do is we want to get the coordinates now. So uh, we have the x values. But now we can solve for the y values. Okay. okay. So we can go ahead and evaluate the function. Okay. So we evaluate our function at negative two and one. So so f of minus two. Okay. Is, that's going to be. So we have two times negative two cubed plus three times minus two squared 
minus 12 times minus 2 plus 6. Okay. So this is going to give us 2 times negative 8 plus 3 times 4 uh, plus 24 plus 6. Okay. So we end up getting uh, minus 16 plus 12 plus 24 plus 6. So that's going to give us 26. Okay. So that is the corresponding y value for negative 2. So now we, go, we can go ahead and evaluate the function at 1. So you have 2 times 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared minus 12 times 1 plus 6. So we have 2 plus 3 minus 12 plus 6. And that's going to give us negative 1. Okay. Okay, so the two points, okay. So the two points are going to be, okay, for negative 2. Okay, so the location, locations for the horizontal tangent lines. Okay, the first one, okay, it's going to go through the point minus 2, 26, and the second one is going to go through the point 1, negative 1, okay. And you can see that here from the graph, okay. So here is, here we have negative 1 and minus 1. Actually, minus 1 is here, okay. Okay, so we have one right here going through this coordinate. And the other one is at minus 2, 26. Okay. Say so negative 2, 26. Okay. All right. So again, we, we located those by taking the derivative of the curve and setting it equal to zero, we, we obtain the x values and then we just simply plug those x values back into the function, okay? Uh, because that's where the, uh, remember the, the horizontal tangent line is going to intersect the function, the curve at, at those x values, okay? So we can evaluate the, the x values at the function, okay, to give us the coordinates, okay. All right, so these are our solutions.